Chelsea O'Neill Productions. I'm sorry in advance about how long this video is going to be, but, you know, anyways. Today I'm going to be reviewing, maybe slash recapping, The 100, Season 3, Episode 4, Watch the Thrones. Alexa brings in the accused, which is the queen, the ice queen, and the guy that's always with Alexa, and if Clark, what Clark thinks. And she says that they deserve justice. And she says that she will not be ordered by this girl. Then the guy says the punishment for your crime is death. And he asked if she needed to say anything in defense. Says she has no defense. Uh, she does. When he, like talking about Clark. And uh, today is Justice Day. Kate the Queen takes her, one of the ambassadors stands up. And correct me if I'm wrong with this because, and I want to thank you for correcting me in my video that I had to correct because Again, these are review slash recaps, meaning like they are my opinion and how I think about the episode. So not everything, I try to get as close as possible as like how everything is, but some stuff, you know, I shout out to Galpash, okay? I know I commented on one of their videos and asked if I could give them a shout out. So if they say no, I'm probably still gonna use this. The videos are really cool and they, they do ship Alexa and that just shows that you know I can still like somebody's video I'm like a hardcore Blark fan so even if you're not for Blark we can still be friends like it's still the 100 we're still we're still watching the show together and we're getting really lost in the show and really confused and angry together so I can still be friends with people that like Clark and Alexa you know like this episode was full of click and even though I'm Blark and I try not to see that, it was full of it and there's no way of, you know, you know, getting out of that. Commander no more, none of us wants war, you know what I want. Like, so if you think I'm unfit for command, challenge me. Challenge accepted. Simple combat to the death. Sorry, my dad's back there working. Who do you, who do you pick to fight? She picks her son. Prince Rome, Queen Maya picks her son, which is probably not the best idea, and her Lexa chooses herself because no one fought for her. Okay, so this has nothing to do with the 100, but as I'm watching the 100, I've seen Brenda Strong. Not to be confused with Brenda Song from, you know, Zach and Cody, you know what I'm talking about, Zach and Cody, London. The little rich girl, Kane and Abby, they're talking about like how many people they lost, uh, how m the bomb, you know, how much the the self destruct button, how it killed, how it worked, and now the gun, the guy. Okay, so I don't know this guy's name, but he is really important. He's in every single one of these video or uh, these episodes, and he's probably most angry. He he's from like the grounder fighting club. He's like the main. Person. Now he's the commander, which really makes me need to know his name. Mark my word, grounders are coming. And Bellamy comes and puts his jacket on the table and talks to Kane and says that he couldn't have stopped Gina. Nobody could have stopped Gina. Nobody could have stopped the bomb from going off. He did what it was everybody's fault. He did what he could do. And he blames himself for Gina and he starts crying and then he walks out. Jasper and Monty need to start fighting. Octavia breaks it up and then Jasper goes to and Jasper's not going to the memorial. Uh, Jasper and Monty sneak out. Then he goes, and then it goes back to Lexa, where she's teaching three of like the things. It's strength, something, something. I don't, I don't know. It's just strength. I don't remember. Lexa shows Clark Aiden, which who would fall in place if Lexa died in the fight, which is really weird. Um, Prince and Queen talk about how she gives him the sword and prepares to for Clark and comes and talks Prepares to for Clark and comes and talks Uh, be the king and he eventually does become the king because I'm going to kind of shorten this down Tell me he talks for Gina and he says He was real, she always saw the light in the air, she deserved better May we meet again And then the dude hits Lincoln in the head when it was like, uh and then Jasper and Monty, Jasper finds, or Monty finds Jasper's bag, looks in his bag. And I can't tell if it was, I, now watching the whole episode, I think he had ashes. Boxes of ashes from either Maya or Finn or whoever. Probably not Finn because there wasn't really ashes from Finn. Because, you know, they, I think they kept it. But, uh, Clark goes to the queen and she tries to poison her. And then the queen, like, gets the blood and the poison and 
Clark spritz it like it gets all over her face and it's stuck. Clark tells Lexa she will not just sit there and watch her die. And then Bellamy gets the guns. Uh, someone must die. Queen is killed and print. The Queen is, so this is like the most epic fight that I've seen. Lexa fights Prince Rome, but he doesn't kill, she doesn't kill Prince Rome. She almost gets killed. She gets her hand like sliced up. She doesn't get killed, but she gets hurt. And it, Prince Rome didn't get killed, but at the beginning someone had to die. Lexa got the sword, and this is, this is like the Hunger Games. You know, when she was, when she was aiming for... when she was aiming for like ah uh, but inside she knows that he's already gonna die because he's been drinking poison and then she lives her life with Peter and if you don't know that and if you have not seen the Hunger Games Mockingjay part two I just spoiled it for you and I'm sorry it just you're just a little too late uh Bellamy gets the guns uh Kane has to show the marks on her arm from the what is it called the Coalition, and it turns out Ned or whatever the commander, the new commander's name is, he becomes a commander. And first thing he does is he pardons himself and everyone else. He breaks the coalition, and he wants to go fight with the you know the people. He wants to go fight the grounders and end it all together. This is a real Monty and Jasper moment. Jasper or Monty? tells Jasper he gotta clean up his act or he's gonna be doing all this suffering all alone. Then he spills the then he spills the ash. And then Clark and Lexa have, you know, their seventh hundred moment. And you know, she fixes her bandages and uh, then they say goodnight. And then what was at the very end? I forgot. What's at the very end? Um so I don't really remember the rest. If you like this video, then like it. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe and comment any of your video requests and anything that I screwed up on, then you can go ahead and you can comment it down below. Um, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for your consideration. Bye, guys.